friends welcome or welcome back to my channel I was planning on filming this next week but I'm a firm believer in mood reading and I really I really wanted to start reading it what's stopping me other than myself we're starting this book and it is Daisy Hates by Jessa Hastings this is the second book in the Magnolia Parks universe and I'm so excited to read this I loved Magnolia Parks if you haven't seen that reading vlog definitely go check that out this is about Daisy Hates and Christian I believe there are people that you meet in the first Magnolia Parks book. I'm assuming if you're clicking on this video you guys already know what the universe is about because this is the second book in the series but if you don't it's about rich people, it's very Gossip Girl, it's a bunch of drama and toxicity so yeah that's the gist of it. I know that the story following Daisy Hates in particular is more surrounded by gangs and mafia families. Daisy Hates and Christian are in gang families. I'm really intrigued on what this book is gonna be about. I've heard a lot of people say that they like Daisy more than Magnolia so I'm super excited. I didn't hate Magnolia. I mean like Magnolia was toxic but so was BJ. I knew what I was getting myself into and I'm also annotating this book. I annotated the first one and I had a blast. But yeah, we're gonna start reading this and I will keep you guys updated. I hope the lighting's okay. It's like really cloudy outside because it looks like it's about to storm, but I wanted to do a quick update. I actually wrote down all the points that I want to talk to you guys about because what I realize is when I'm reading, I feel like there's so many things I want to talk to you guys about, then I kind of forget it whenever I'm actually doing the update, especially the thoughts that I have in the very beginning of the book. So I wrote them down. The first thing I wrote down was that I fell in love with Daisy immediately, instantly fell in love with her. I feel like she's such a badass character. I think it's because she was raised in a gang family that she's tough and she's incredibly smart. She's in med school right now and I think she actually got into med school a lot earlier than what's normal. I'm really enjoying her character. She's very... She has her... What's the saying? What's the saying? She has her head on straight. I don't know if that's the same, but there are three point of views in this book instead of two. In Magnolia Parks, it was Magnolia and BJ, but for this one, it is Daisy, Christian, and Julian. Julian is Daisy's older brother. I love Julian. He's very much the typical, like, mafia gang lord character. He cares a lot about Daisy. The way he talks is kind of funny. He loves art and I love that about him. Like that's so cute. So this book actually takes place at the same time as Magnolia Parks. A lot of the events that happened in Magnolia Parks are happening again in here but it doesn't feel repetitive obviously because it's in other people's POVs. It was really interesting to see how people thought of Magnolia <laughs> and it was kind of painful. It was kind of painful to read because like I still like my girl Magnolia she's just when you read it in these other perspectives especially Daisy it's just so eye-opening like dang Daisy and Christian they're actually less toxic than BJ and Magnolia they're not doing things to purposely hurt each other 
they just have a lot of personal issues and I think that once they work through that personal issue, they would be fine as a couple. That's how I feel so far. Another thing that I wanted to bring up is that when you read Daisy's perspective, she has footnotes at the bottom. I think that's really interesting. That alone kind of tells you about her personality. It makes you feel like a friend is telling you a story and she's basically just telling you a story and then having like those little quirky like comments on the side. I'm really enjoying the book so far. I think I enjoyed this couple a little more than BJ and Magnolia at the moment just because they feel a little more relatable and I love Daisy. I think Daisy is probably one of my favorite characters in this universe so yeah. look how pretty this cover is now why would you why would you say that this character or not I feel like this character is trying too hard to be quirky and funny but it's making me feel like ugh, too much too much and I can't tell if it's because it's not Christian you know what I mean it's not like a main character so like there's no obligation to like them so I can't tell like I don't think I like them they just feel so over dramatic not over dramatic over the top I'm gonna stop for the night Hi, good morning. The last time we talked was yesterday and I just started reading a little bit this morning. Quick little update. We talked about Daisy and Julian's relationship and like the sibling relationship they have, which is really fun to read. Something recently happened to Daisy and <laughs> when I say that I don't feel bad for the person that did this thing, I don't feel bad at all. 100% don't feel bad even though the reaction and like what's happening to this person I don't feel bad, but it's so extreme. It, not extreme. That's the wrong word It's so much more than I expected. I don't know why I expected it to be lesser They're in a gang like they're they're criminals like I'm rooting for them even though it's so violent It's so violent, but I'm rooting for them something just happened to Daisy, but she was like better me than someone else that hasn't been trained to look for people trying to like harm or kill them and that like that is so sad why would he do that now why would he do that I feel like you know what I feel like about this character and Daisy, their relationship? I feel like they're very, um, they have a lot of history. I, I won't go too into detail what the history is, but I think the history is hindering them from being separate people. They're committed and attached because there is so much that they've done for one another. We love a good friendship and we love a good relationship, but like, it's, it gets toxic when it feels like you cannot break away from someone because they've done this. It feels like one of those abusive relationships where this person just does really terrible things but then turns around and like love bombs you. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I just figured it out. I think I just figured it out. this book a lot more than Magnolia Parks because it feels a lot more relatable. I still really love Magnolia Parks, but yeah. The different perspectives and seeing Magnolia and BJ in a different light is also very refreshing. So this book is turning out to be probably higher rated than Magnolia Parks, but we'll see because I'm only like 
not even halfway there. I got to a part in Daisy Hates that happened in Magnolia Parks. It is so painful to read it for a second time. It definitely was necessary because I think at first time I read it, I was definitely mad at one person. I was mad at one specific person. But now that I'm reading it in a different perspective, I'm mad at multiple people. It really goes to show that POVs matter a lot. Other than that, I'm still enjoying it. And I really hope that it has a happy ending. Like I'm 95%, I'm 98% sure that it's not gonna be a very happy ending. Like it's gonna end terribly, as in like it's gonna be painful, like Magnolia Parks. It'll be a good cliffhanger. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this. Wow. Why am I like stuttering? I wanted to do this update before I finish the book. I'm about a hundred pages left. Let's just preface that this book is still better than Magnolia Parks in my opinion. It's not that I'm disliking the book. This book definitely is giving me a lot of a lot more mixed feelings than Magnolia Parks did. Like I feel really conflicted. I love Christian and I love Daisy and I love their relationship, but it's a different type of toxic. BJ and Magnolia, they were toxic and like really unreasonable and made me really mad, but I like ate that drama up. This kind of drama it's like sad. It's really painful to read because you kind of take, I, at least me personally, I take both of their sides. Like I completely understand where Daisy is coming from and why she's upset. And then I can understand where Christian is coming from and like of what he went through. He seems really confident. He has such low self-esteem. Oh my God, their relationship was going so well. Even though I knew a conflict was gonna happen because it happened in the first book, I was just, it was going so well. And then all the crap hit the fan. I want to come back and say this because I, I realized, I realized that I didn't, I didn't explain it very well. And I didn't mention the fact that like, even though I understand Christian, like I understand where he's coming from. I also understand why Daisy's upset. Like I totally get it. And I'm a hundred percent like behind her on that. So like. I to pick her up, but that's a bad call. Me. I don't want to regret it when it goes wrong Yeah, well she's in my car but she's out of my league Only in my arms temporarily She looks pretty when she grits her teeth Cause her boyfriend sucks and she knows he cheats Cries on my shoulder but I can't see why She's not with me I do not, I do not understand what just happened, like, is it denial? Is that what it is? I don't even have a confused tab. Did I really need a confused tab? I love Julian. I love Julian. Well, she's in my car, but she's out of my I have a feeling that something really bad is about to happen. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Sucks and she knows he cheats. Cries on my shoulder, but I can't see why she's not with me. Listening to this cover of War of Hearts while reading the last like portion of the book is really it's really hitting differently. Like, she's not what if I only like her because she's out of my grip? That is not how it ends. What the? What the? What? Okay, so I stopped when Daisy Hates ended because. Right here, you can you can see that little B. So I was assuming it was a prequel to the next book, uh, just to get people excited for the next book for Magnolia Parks. 
and I was correct. I read the first page of it and I just, I didn't want to read it. I mean, my camera died, but before I was rudely interrupted, I'm going to read the prequel to the next Magnolia Parks book when I'm ready to read that book because you know what? Daisy Hates already got me feeling too stressed out and I just need some time to kind of take that all in and process it before I jump in into another. I love this book more than Magnolia Parks, which is pretty surprising because I really liked the first book. It was really entertaining to read. I ate up that drama and the toxicity. It was just, I wouldn't say fun because it was kind of painful at times, but sometimes you just enjoy all the drama. I really liked how relatable Daisy was and how self-aware she was. She knows that she's traumatized and she knows where her personality came from because obviously she's been through a lot in her life. It makes it less painful because they aren't clueless. She tells you exactly why she's doing it. And then we have Christian who is a little bit less self-aware, but it's because he's so self-conscious, which you also learn in the first book, but you definitely deep dive into the second book. I want to rate this book a 4.75. Magnolia Parks was a 4.5 and this is better. I don't want to give it a 5. I do really, really feel like the books just get better throughout the series. And once we answer questions that the first two books leave with us, that's when it'll hit five stars. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun reading this book, but I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.